Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a weekend reads. Happy weekend everybody. Happy Halloween weekend. Um, I am busting out a Halloween t-shirt that I bought when I was in um, Buffalo not last weekend or in New York last weekend for Rhinebeck. I stopped of course at a Walmart to get all the fun things that you can't do here in Canada and yeah I had to get this awesome t-shirt. Um, so before I get into it you guys might notice the angle and stuff it's a little bigger. Um, I am actually recording this on my laptop camera. Um, if you watch my knitting podcast, which I probably most of you don't, but um, I was having some issues with anything focusing. Um, if I put it close to the camera, it just wouldn't focus on something small. And I kind of need that to happen occasionally when I'm showing my stuff, my knitting stuff. So I decided to record on my laptop camera instead of the lap, like the camera built into my laptop as opposed to my laptop camera. And I realized it does look a lot better. Surprisingly, a camera that I bought from Best Buy that cost X number of dollars, the one that just came with the laptop seems to look a little bit better. Now, I was also having some issues with graininess, I noticed in my last couple videos. I wasn't completely happy with that. I don't know whether it was the lighting or what have you. But I hope this works better for you guys. I mean, you're seeing the cat tower and all that stuff. In about two or three weeks, there will be a Christmas tree here. Yes, I am one of those people. I always wait until after Remembrance Day to put up the tree, but I usually put it up the weekend of the Santa Claus Parade in Toronto, which is, I think, the second or third um, Sunday in November. So I love Christmas, and I love having a Christmas tree. So as you can see, I still have lights up. I just didn't want to take them down at the end of last year. Anyway, all of that, happy Halloween weekend as I start talking about Christmas. So as promised, I will discuss the tea that I am drinking in my absolutely adorable David's Tea Mug. This is ceramic. Um, it's not a very big mug, and the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a handle, so if it's, the tea's really hot, it's it's kind of hard to handle. But, um, sorry, I just recorded the knitting podcast, and I've been talking so much. Um, so it's got cute little ghosts on it for Halloween, so of course I'd use that this week. And the tea that I'm drinking is a rooibos tea, and it's called um, Witch's Brew, and it's got cocoa and little candy pieces in it, and it's so yummy got a really nice sweetness to it. I don't add anything to my tea. I don't add milk or sugar or anything like that. So I always drink it just straight. And um, this one's really, really great. If you want just a little bit of sweetness in your tea, I really, really like it. So highly recommend. It's still available on the David's Tea website if you're interested to go and check it out. So that is the tea for this weekend or for this weekend reads. So what am I going to be reading this weekend? Um, my audiobook is The Betrayed by Heather Graham. This is book number 14 or 15, I can't remember. In the Crew of Hunters series, it's narrated on audio by Luke Daniels. This book takes place in Sleepy Hollow, and yes, it's that Sleepy Hollow um, from, of course, The Headless Horseman. So I should actually get this done because this is the last audiobook I need to finish for October. So I should actually finish it on Halloween, which is on Tuesday. So it's kind of nice leading into the Halloween like really into the Halloween season. Um, I know the whole month of October, a lot of people consider this to be like the spooky season, but really leading up to that last week of Halloween. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Um, I haven't started it yet. I plan on starting it actually tomorrow. I'm almost done the current audiobook that I'm listening to, which is A Cult America. Um, it is a nonfiction novel by Mitch Horowitz. I cannot remember the name of the narrator off the top of my head. I apologize. I will put it right here, um, but I'm almost done with that one. And it's been really, really good. I've really enjoyed that one. Um, my ebook that I plan on starting also, same thing. I just finished my other ebook, so I will be starting this one. And that is The Boss and His Cowgirl, and that's by Silver James. This is book number three in the Red Dirt Royalty series. And, um, it's about a man who is actually a congressman, and she is his speechwriter. And I guess they have one night together, and, um, they decide that this is not a good idea, but they just can't seem to kind of stay away from each other. So, it should be really good. Silver James is one of my new favorite authors, and I'm really enjoying this series. My current Babysitter's Club book is um, Marianne's Bad Luck Mystery. I think I mentioned this one last week, um, but I literally just, I, I've barely gotten a chance to read anything, like physically read anything. Um, even last weekend when I was away, the audiobook, I was only able to listen to it for a little while because I found that after an hour or so in the car of it, I started to get almost that like driving hip, hip, like hypnotized by driving. Do you guys know what I mean? Especially when you're highway driving. 
So I needed to turn it off and I needed to just put on music so I had something different to listen to. Like, you know what I mean? So I didn't get a lot of my audiobook listened to. And of course, because I was with friends all weekend, I didn't spend a lot of time just sitting and reading. So that's okay. Um, I only have to finish um, this book and the audiobook I just, or I only have to finish um, the Heather Graham book and the one by Silver James. And then I'm done for the month, like everything that was on my TBR. So I'm really happy about that. Anything else is added extra. So as I said, I didn't get a lot of reading on my Baby Stars Club book done, but that's okay. I will pick it up and re read it and finish it when it gets done. Um, so yeah, so that's everything that I am reading this weekend. This might actually end up being a shorter video, but I want to show you guys my knitting. So hang tight. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I was all prepared too. I had all my stuff done for the knitting podcast and I put everything away and I was so proud of myself for putting everything away. And then I'm like, oh wait, I need to show you guys. So living in this adorable bag that I showed you guys, I think I showed this to you last time I did weekend reads, um, because I was showing you what I was going to be casting on. And this is my cute little Alice in Wonderland bag, which I absolutely love. And I started the hat for my niece. I started this on Friday night uh, when I was at the cabin. And I didn't get much done because I actually had to tear it out because I messed it up. Which um, will teach you not to cast something on while sampling um, pumpkin spice baileys. Which I can attest is very yummy. Um, <laughs> so I've started my niece's little hat. Um, this is called the Kit Kat hat is going to be the pattern. Not much you can see now. This is just the ribbing. And it looks small. And she's seven. And I measure her head. And her head is the same size as mine. But this will stretch. So it will fit her. Um, but like I said, I've just started this. I'm going to work on it later today and tomorrow. Um, and I should actually get this done relatively quickly. When it's done, I will definitely show you guys. Um, the yarn that I am using, in case you're curious, is Cascade 220 which is a worsted weight yarn, um, and it's a superwash paint. Superwash means that this can go in the washer and dryer. Regular wool can't because, of course, it will grow and then shrink and do bad things that you don't want to happen to things. Um, but superwash, it says that you can wash it and dry it. You can't iron it, but I am of the school of thought that, yes, maybe you can throw it in the washing machine, but I would always hang it to dry just because I am paranoid for stuff like that. And the colorway is called Tropical Punch. Isn't that pretty? So I was saying that if I get this done and I still have enough yarn left, I might knit her a little pair of fingerless mitts to go with it. Even though they're not the most practical thing in the world, they are still super adorable. And I thought, like, if she's in class and her little hands get cold in class, because I know me at work, I need to knit myself a pair of fingerless mitts for the office because it gets bloody cold in that office. So it'd be nice to have something to keep my hands warm. Even though your fingers are still out and can still do stuff, just to keep your hands themselves warm. So that is that. Now I know on my last weekend reads, um, Elizabeth of Lizzie Fay Loves Books uh, commented she wanted to know about the pattern. Now it is a free pattern and it's really an, an adorable hat and you kind of knit it in a square and then you pull in the corner so you get these little ears. Um, so I had linked it in that video um, to her comment. But what I'll do is in this video in the description box below is if you're interested in seeing the pattern for this hat, because like I said, it is free. <clears throat> I will link to the blog post that the person has for this hat. So if you're interested in knitting it yourself or just going to see more of it, please go check it out. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, nothing else too super exciting going on. The only very exciting thing is, is that yesterday on Friday was my dad's last day of work. He's now retired. 68 years old and he finally decided to retire. Um, he mentioned last weekend to me that he's been working since he was 13. So I am super thrilled for him and sending my congratulations. I'm going to go over and see him and my mom. They're over at my grandmother's and my aunt's. So we're all going to go over and have dinner. Um, Garrett's sleeping because, of course, he works nights. So we're going to go do that after I'm done recording my videos for the day. Um, very quickly, before I go as well, the video is coming up next week. Of course, the first one is going to be my November TBR. Super exciting. And the second one's actually a book tag. I thought I would do a fun little book tag. Um, it's an autumn book tag, even though it's like midway like it's almost the end of October, but I still thought an autumn book tag would be kind of fun. So anyway, guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave me any comments in the comments bar below what you guys are doing this weekend, what you guys are reading this weekend. And yeah, until my next video, take care and happy reading everybody. Bye.